Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. So I thought, let's just do a dedicated video on it really quick. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out. Um, I know it totally helped me out doing this. So a little quick backstory, um, one of my friends on Instagram reached out to me and they were like, Janessa, I need some help. I have been purchasing a ton of full cover nail tips and none of them seem to be fitting my thumb. Um, I was like, interesting. So I told her, you know what? Why don't I go through all of my nail tips, do a little experiment, see which one's bigger, and then I'll send you some in the mail and whatever ones work for you then you know you can go and purchase those um, without spending money on nail tips that you were just like crossing your fingers that they're gonna fit, right? So I literally took out every single nail tip I had. I laid them all out. I was fitting each of them to my nail, measuring, and I was literally shocked. Like, I don't know. I usually just stick to like a couple of the brands that I know that I like, but I have so many and comparing them, the different sizes, um, the the way if they're durable or not, um, like a zero from one brand compared to a zero from another brand was just so drastic. So while I was doing that, I was like, you know what, why don't I just make a video on nail tips? And so today we're going to be going through a bunch of different brands nail tips. We're going to find which one is the best. And then I'm also gonna be showing you guys at the very end of the video, what I found to be the biggest tip for your thumb. Um, I know each of us have different nail beds, different size hands, different size nails, all of that good stuff. And um, I thought I would just throw that in the end to show you guys which what I found to be the biggest nail tip for your thumb. Um, so if you want to see that, stick around till the very end of the video and we will reveal which uh, nail tip has the biggest thumbnail. But before we get started, I want to just explain one thing really quick. So I get a lot of questions on what is the difference between a plastic nail tip and a soft gel full cover nail tip. So I watched a couple of their videos just to see what like, other people were, were saying. And there were some good videos out there, but nobody really hit it on the nail I feel like so I'm going to be showing you guys really quick and what I know to believe the difference between soft gel and plastic so right here I have my enol couture um these are the extreme square and these are soft plastic gel nails okay so keep that in mind this is a soft gel nail and pretty much all of enol couture's are gel so we're gonna get a soft gel now. And then these are Lazy Girl. This is by SXC Cosmetics. This is their Lazy Girl series. And I just did a video on this if you wanna watch. I'll have it linked in the cards. But um, it came with a full, with a thing of full cover nail tips, ballerina and stiletto, and these are plastic. So let's just get one out. I don't think the size really matters for this part right here. This is what I'm going to be showing you guys what I know to be the difference. So right off the bat, the Enol Couture ones are already pre-etched for you. So I don't know if you guys can see this one on the right is like really clear. And then this one's a little bit foggy. That's because it's pre-etched. But that has nothing to do with what we're talking about right now. So I get questions all the time with Lazy Girl Method. People saying that their full cover nail tip pops off their nail. Or no, no, sorry, it, their full cover nail tip pops off the poly gel, like a dual form almost. And that's the biggest difference in soft gel versus plastic. So soft gel, I think people think that because it's made, made out of soft gel that it's stronger. Um, filling these, you know, I would say the soft gel is a little bit stronger versus the plastic. I, that totally makes sense to me. But one of the main things is, is that gel cures to gel. So when you use a soft gel nail and you put poly gel inside of it for lazy girl method or whatever you're doing, um, the gel cures inside of this gel. So there's literally no way for this nail, say that there's poly gel inside of it, right? There's no way for this nail to pop off the poly gel because 
it's gel. So it had cure to the poly gel, gel cures to gel. Just, re just remember that. But when you have a plastic one, um, if you were to put poly gel inside of this and cure it, chances are it is going to stay as long as you do your nail prep good, you have a good lamp and all of that. But there is a chance for the plastic to lift off of the poly gel. Um, and that's because it's plastic. So it's not curing to the poly gel versus a soft gel now actually cures to the poly gel itself. Um, so that's the main difference. I just prefer soft gel nails versus plastic ones because I just like them. I mean, like I said, I feel like it is more stronger. Um, and I love Enoch Couture products. They're pretty much my go-to for full cover nails. They're my favorite. But um, that's irrelevant for this video because we're going to find the best full cover nails. But another thing I wanted to mention too. So one of the pros for the plastic is that since this soft gel nail is gel, like I said, when you cure it, it actually shrinks a little bit. So for instance, when I'm doing the lazy girl method and I fill this up with poly gel and I have my other four nails on my little um, nail, the, my little nail thing. If this, if this covered with nails, so say that this has nails all on it, right? And I'm currently doing this nail right now. So pretend there's a nail on here and I'm filling it with poly gel. I place the nail on my thumb and I go to cure it. If these soft gel nails are anywhere near the lamp, the gel, I mean, the lamp is going to shrink this nail up. So the size that I already had, that I, I had already fit to my nail, it was working great becomes like a size smaller because it literally shrinks like the gel the soft gel, the gel in this nail like shrinks to a size and I've had that happen to me so many times where it's all perfect fit nicely and then I go to cure it and it shrinks on me the plastic ones since there's no gel on it that's n it's not going to shrink on you so I mean I really really do like that about the plastic and for me I've been doing lazy girl for so long that um, I don't have a problem with the plastic nail lifting, lifting from the poly gel, but just something to keep in mind. So the plastic ones will not shrink at, in the lamp and the soft gel nails do shrink. They like become, you can almost feel it like suction cup on your nail. It's, it's, you know, if you use them, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, I know that plastic ones are more readily available and I do have questions about using this as a dual form. You told it is possible you could fill this up with poly gel pop it on your nail and then get um something to like for like if you got like a cuticle pusher or like even some like tweezers you know and you kind of got in there between the nail and the poly gel it would lift up leaving you kind of like your own little dual form you know what i mean so i just wanted to get that out of the way um for anyone that had questions on soft gel nails versus plastic nails i hope that that made sense and that i was able to help you with that but now let's get into the nail tips. Okay, so we're gonna start with Eno Couture by Max Estrada. Now, like I said earlier, Max's nails are soft gel nails. Um, you can't get them anywhere else, but besides on his website, I know a lot of people have questions about if you can get um, like replicas on AliExpress. And while you can get replicas on AliExpress, I just trust me they're not the exact same quality and I have a bunch of AliExpress nails here so I'll show you guys the difference. Um, today we're going to be talk we're talking about Enel Couture, SXE Cosmetics, Bella Vina aka Double Dip Nails, Full Cover Nails, McCart Full Cover Nails, Model Ones Full Cover Nails, and AliExpress Full Cover Nails. So I'm going to start off with my um, my uh, Extreme Square Full Cover Nail. And I saw in a video to test the durability of, of your nails, you should be able to squeeze them. And if they bounce back without having a white line in the middle, means that it's good quality. Um, I'm not sure about soft gel nails, so let's just try it. So we should be able to squeeze this nail. You guys see that white line in the middle? We should be able to squeeze that. And then we should be able to bounce it back out. So let me see if you guys can see this. Can you see how there's like a white line in the middle? Hope you guys can see that. There's a white line and we should be able to go like, like kind of get it back, you know, put it back into place and have the white line disappear. 
I know with plastic nails, that's definitely a thing. I've never done it with soft gel nails, so we're about to see. But these nails are so strong. Um, I'm the, like, Enel Couture is my favorite, to be honest. Um, I have so many full cover nails, I haven't tried all of them out yet. So I'm interested to see in this video. So as you can see, the white line is still there. Can you guys see that? It is still there. I'm not sure if, like, especially on the tip, I'm not sure if it has to do because this is soft. Oh, actually, no, it's disappearing now. That's so interesting. So this is a size zero, um, and it's pretty snug on my thumb. I usually, uh, I usually wear like a size two, but there's not really any hanging off the sides. And I'm gonna show you some other Enel Couture ones that were like so big. So if you have a problem with your thumbnail, just make sure to stick around so I can show you guys. But this is his pre-etched um, Extreme Square. And let me show you some other ones I have by him really quick. So I also have his tapered coffin. Um, I got this box at the dollar store. So if you like have trouble um, finding boxes to put your nail tips in, my local Dollar Tree has these little boxes and they fit really good. I just cut out the uh, the label and put it on there so I wouldn't forget which ones these were. But I totally forgot I had these and I'm so glad I brought them out again because they're so cute. So this is a tapered square. You can see like how tapered this is. It is so crazy. I'll compare it next to a regular um, coffin so you guys can see. But um, these were the biggest thumbs that I could find. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick again. This is a size zero, the um, extreme square. And if I filed it a little bit, like it would fit perfectly. This is the tapered coffin by Enel Couture. And these aren't pre-etched so you can see through them like a lot nicer. But I just wanna show you guys how big these are. So can you see all of that hang off on the end? Like the difference is crazy. And this is by the same company and both of their zeros are complete different sizes. I'm not sure because it's tapered that it that it's the, the cuticle is so big, but I was shocked. Look at that. Like that is so much hang off. And out of all of the nails, I literally had 10 nails and these were the biggest ones that I had. So if you have a hard time, like that one is just crazy. Let me find you, let's see, I think let's, this is probably my size right here. This is a, oh, I don't know, this is a size two. Yeah, I'm probably a size three. So I'm usually a size two in everything, but yeah, that fits me a lot better. There's a hair right there. So this is a size three, the Enel Couture tapered square. These nails are super cute. You know, like, yeah. But I just wanted to show you guys like this thumb, this zero. Isn't that crazy? So if you have really hard time with finding ones that fit your thumb and you like this look, I would definitely recommend the Tapered Square by Enel Couture. And also the quality on it, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> the quality is soup. Let me try the test with this one really quick. So this is a soft gel now. We're supposed to be able to bend it where we see a white line. Can you guys see that white line? It's better, you can see it easier on this one. And then we should be able to get that white line out by stretching it back out. And that one worked perfect. So I think because this one was pre etched well, you can see the white line a little bit on this one with the pre etch but these ones you can't at all. So that means it's really, really, really good quality. I'm just gonna leave these out so that I can compare them to the other ones while I'm doing this. And then I also have these ones by Eno Couture. And these ones were the second biggest that I was able to find. This is his tapered stiletto. So here's a zero. Let me show you how much it hangs off. So it doesn't hang off as much as the other one, but there's still so much room. Like it just blows my mind. Like how is it so different, these two zeros? I'm not sure, but I'll show you guys the length too. 
So tapered stiletto in the middle and then tapered coffin on the right. So yeah, pretty interesting. I just cannot believe that how much room hangs off of these. And when we get to the other ones, you guys are going to see like what I'm talking, like how big these are compared to pretty much all the other ones. Like it's insane. And it was really good to know because just the more you know, the better, you know what I mean? So we'll get these over here and then now let's get into the next brand. Oh, by the way, so out of, out of, out of a five, I would give these nails a five out of five. Um, I just love them. They're so good. They're so, so good. They're really, really workable, a little bit bouncy, but they're, but you know, they passed the test. So that means that they were good quality. They're soft gel, so they're going to, to adhere to any poly gel you put in there. They're not gonna pop off like plastic ones could. Um, the only thing is, is that they'll shrink a little bit. So you have to usually size up. Okay, so the next one we have here is from Model Ones. Um, the packaging, can we, you guys, like why does Model Ones do this? So these nails literally came on these like little plastic things which meaning you have to remove each one, which is just, I don't know, I'm not a fan. Maybe some of you guys are, I'm just not a fan. I appreciate the box it came in, but um, yeah, like what is this? <laughs> so this is a plastic one. Let's go ahead and do the test with it. So can you guys see that white line? Now we're going to try to get it out. And then you just kind of pull it back nothing big you know huh okay so i'm pretty like i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm bending these like back as far as i can and i cannot get the white line out at the top and the bottom do i have like a cover that will make it show better on camera let's put it on the back of this i don't know if you guys can see that but the white line is at the tip of the nail and at the cuticle still so not the best definitely let me get that definitely i mean yeah the white line didn't come out so it didn't pass the test like i said these are by model ones let's see the size this is a size zero there is a little bit of hang off not much but a little bit so if you definitely have bigger nail beds you're probably gonna have a hard time because like you're gonna be wasting pretty much all of these nails down here, you know? But I don't hate the shape. So the shape's not bad, but I hate the packaging. And it didn't, it, that so far that was the, that didn't compare to Enoch Couture. I would give it out of a five, I'm gonna give it like, a two out of five because I don't hate, I, I like the shape of it and it did go a little bit bigger over my thumbnail, which is a good sign. Um, but this packaging, you do get a lot of nails though. So let's go to the next one. Okay, so and next we're going to be trying these Bellavina Double Dip Nails products. This came in the Magic Tip Gel Kit that I just reviewed. Um, the packaging, I'm not mad. I actually don't mind this kind of packaging because usually I just go and I buy my own little box. If you guys saw at the dollar store and I put my nails in, but I do appreciate a box. Um, so I'm just going to dock it one for the packaging. Um, but here are the zero. So let's try this zero on. I don't like the shape, but I'm not going to dock anything for the shape because I didn't get to pick the shape. It's just like not really my style, you know? These are plastic. Let's go ahead and do the test. Get the white line. Can you guys see that? And then now I'm going to bring it out. Awesome. That totally came out. So perfect. So the quality is good if you like plastic nails, but the size is not. Can you guys see there's literally no hang off at all i would say i have average nail beds so if you have bigger nail beds you're gonna waste your money on these you're totally gonna waste your money it's not gonna fit and then you're only gonna be able to use like three sizes 
and just waste the rest waste the rest so the quality of the nail is good but if you have bigger nail beds you're going to be disappointed because you're probably not going to be the zero is not going to fit your nail but the quality is good the packaging is cool so i'm going to give it i'm just going to give it four out of ten because of the sizing but the quality of this plastic nail and the packaging i'm not mad at so that is double dip nails okay next we have the lazy girl xxl full cover nails these come in stiletto and ballerina these are plastic full cover nip uh full cover tips and what I can say about these is that these were one of the biggest ones that I was able to find. This was like the third one, I'm pretty sure. We'll do all of the um, we'll do all of the measurements at the end. So if you want to say that, if you want to say that, like I said, stick around. But here is what it looks like. So that is the uh, ballerina coffin, and this is the stiletto. These are both plastic. Let's go ahead and do the test really quick. These came in the Lazy Girl series, so I think that was really cool. It came in the kit. Okay, so can you see the white line? Now we're gonna bend it out. And that came out right away, except for at the very, at the cuticle. Can you guys see that? So the cuticle part didn't come out. Let me try this one really quick. Ugh. <laughs> okay these are really really strong these are good quality i can tell yeah that came out right away except for just the very cuticle part which i'm not gonna dock on that cuticle part it doesn't make me that mad so um this is plastic let's see the size really quick so as you guys can see this totally has some hang off there which is awesome that's so good because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna buy this kit on Amazon and they're actually gonna find some that most likely will fit them. So that one is really big. And then here is, this one's even, wow. This one's even bigger. Can you guys see that? I wonder if it's because the, still, the tapered coffin is tapered and so the apex goes up a little bit higher, meaning it shrinks up the room that would have been down here. The stiletto is just, you know, it's just a stiletto. So I'm assuming these were both the same size, but then they tapered these. I mean, so, you know, it shrunk up some of those cuticle size down here, but these ones definitely hang over more. Look at that. Let's compare this one to the tapered, the tapered coffin by Eno Couture. I'm just gonna put like a line right here so I can tell. Oh my gosh, they're like pretty much the same. Wow. Yeah, these are a five out of five. Even though they are plastic, these will definitely fit you if you have bigger nail beds. And I'll just show you what the tapered coffin looks like. Tapered coffin soft gel, regular XXL coffin. And you can totally tell, like this one is so much more pinched. So it depends what look you like, but that's good to know. SXC passed the test. I also love the boxing. Like, why can't everything just come in these little boxes? It's so nice. It's small. So, you know, you don't have to use up a lot of space for stuff. And yeah, like I said, I made a video using these if you want to watch, but definitely pass the, passes the test for everything five out of five. Okay, so next we have McCart. These are McCart McCart's Pump Up Nail Stiletto xxl full cover nails and then this is mccart's dual form um emmy Fe or <laughs> femi beauty x mccart collab that they did and i don't know if you guys remember but inside these dual forms i want to make a video with these so bad i'm doing it this weekend so these are half cover um dual forms i just wanted to add them in because it comes with half dual forms half full cover tips and i just want to see the difference between these ones and the pump ups and see if there is a difference but um, if you got these, like if you just hold it, this is a zero, by the way. If you just hold it like this, you can see how much like room is up there, you know? So if you like press it down, it's pretty dang big. Like if you have big thumbs or big nail beds, these will definitely fit you. Like if I put it right to the edge and then press, like look at that. So I'm sure you wouldn't press that much because there would be poly gel down there, but 
awesome. These are so, so awesome. I cannot believe I haven't made a video using these. So here is my carts. These are a zero. Oops. This is a zero and it is a um, coffin, XXL coffin. This came in the Femi Beauty kits. Let's do the test really quick. Ugh. So you guys can see the white line there. And then now let's try to get it out. Perfect. It all came out. Except just that cuticle. I'm not mad on the cuticle. As long as like the middle came out, I guess we're fine. That came out really nice. Let's see the fit. So a little, a tiny bit of leeway. So if you have bigger thumbs, these probably will fit you. But they don't compare to, let me see the SXC Cosmetics. So that went like right there. That, and then this is the Macar. The SXC ones are a tiny, tiny, tiny bit bigger. What about the difference? So these feel like soft gel ones. Can you guys see the difference? Like, I don't know if it tells on camera, but the SXC ones are like a little bit cloggy or a little bit floggy, foggy. And um, these ones feel like gel. I mean, it does not it doesn't. That's so interesting. Let me see. This is the Inagator one right here. I feel like these are gel, you guys. I'm gonna have to email and ask my cart, but I would almost bet my life on it that these are soft gel nails that, that came in here. It just, like, it looks so different. This is like a fog to it. The, SX, the SXC has like a plastic look. The SXC are a tiny bit longer if you, if you cared. But yeah, these feel really, really, really good. They are, they do are a little bit bigger, so that's good. I'm gonna give these a five out of five, honestly. I love the box. And they passed the test. I mean, they were really, really, really good. So let's go ahead and check the pump outs, the pump ups. Why am I pronouncing things so wrong tonight? I'm like mixing up letters and like, I don't know. Does it say gel on here? No, it just says, acrylic false line made of eco-friendly material mccart nail pump ups are non-toxic and can last 30 days with proper care and application okay so it doesn't say if they're gel but i swear those femi beauty that femi beauty like just plastic the plastic ha i don't know maybe they just use like a cheaper material or something but let's let's see these ones let's see open please can you just open, please? Come on. Is there tape and I'm not seeing it? Okay, there we go. Let me move these ones. Okay, so first of all, I just love, I love the box. This isn't perfect. This is how they need to come, like this or like this. Like, just please. Okay, let's get these zero. It looks like a zero is right here. No, that's a one. Is this a zero? Come here. Oh yeah, okay, these are zeros. So I wanna compare how this feels to the Femi Beauty one. Okay, so the Femi Beauty one definitely feels a little bit more sturdy. This one, the McCart Pump Up doesn't feel as sturdy. I wonder what they did. Did they do something different? Because why? It just feels a little bit more sturdy on the coffin one, I'm not sure. Um, I feel like the box would say soft gel if it was soft gel. So maybe they're just using a, yeah, this is plastic for sure. Let's do the test really quick. Ugh. And then let's bend it back out. Nice, it came right out. Yeah, did it? Yeah. Cool, came right out, so that's good. Now let's fit the thumb. And as you guys can see, this is a zero and there's like literally a hair that it goes over. Just a hair. I'm gonna give these a four out of 10 just for the sizing. The box, the quality, the length is super cute. It's just this sizing that makes me feel a little bit bad for people with bigger nail beds because I feel like they would buy this 
and it wouldn't fit. Cause like I said, I have average nail beds. You guys see that? So, okay, four out of 10, but these ones were five out of 10. So that's really interesting by McCart. But yeah, just so you guys know, these are still really, really good. If you have average nail beds, I would definitely get these. Okay, so now I have my Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. Love the box, totally going to give them on that. They are pretty expensive, that's one thing. Like, I feel like you can get, you know, all the other brands are a lot cheaper. By the way, I'll have, all, while I'm talking about this, I'll have all the prices like pop up so you guys can see. But these are the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips. This is in Coffin Long. And one of the things, oops, you guys heard that, sorry. One of the things I noticed about this, which I think is really cool, I don't know if you can see on camera, but they have a zero and a double zero. Like, isn't that cool? So here is the zero. Let's see if we can tell you guys. I mean, sorry, that's the double zero. And then here's the regular zero. And one of the things that kind of bothers me is it doesn't say like double zero on the tips, you know? So you like honestly don't, like you can't prove it is. Like if they got mixed up, I, mean, I think it would be hard to tell. But when you put them on top of each other, you can see the double zero is like a like a little bit bigger. Can you guys see that? So these are plastic. Are they? No, these are these are gel. Oh yeah, you guys, I'm getting confused now. Are they? I'll have it linked. I'll let you guys know right here down at the bottom. But let's do the. Well, yeah, they're gel because they're jelly tips. Duh. Okay, so there is the line. Now let's work, work, work that girl out. Okay. The line came out. So let's see. This is the double zero. There's more hang off than the McCart ones, but not as much as the SXC and the Anna Couture ones. So that's the double zero. And then this is the regular zero. Wait, what? Are they the exact same, you guys? Is this just a marketing thing that's making people believe that these are different and they're honestly not I don't know I honestly can't tell they like literally both look the exact same like on my finger but maybe if it was just that much difference that was going to make or break your nail set you'd be able to tell um I'm going to give these a four to ten because they're pricey other than that I love the box they're good quality nails the shape is cute I used to wear this when they first came out, but now I love like long nails. So the shape's cute, you know? So that's Kiara Sky. Those are gel, gel nails. So, so far the gel nails that we've tried are the Ina Couture and the Kiara Sky. And I really, really do think those Femi Beauty ones are soft gel, but the model ones, the Bella Vina double dip ones, the McCart, and the SXC have all been plastic. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna be doing AliExpress. Um, I got this box at the dollar store and I like labeled it like a weirdo forever ago. Um, but these are XXL Square Soft Gel Nails off AliExpress. And I used to use these all of the time in my like earlier videos before I splurged on email. But I'm going to show you guys something crazy because these are the biggest nails I've been able to find. So first, let's do the test. There's the white line. Let's work this little honey out. Came right out. I just want to show you guys how big these are. Like literally insane. These are the biggest nails. I'll have it linked below too. But look at this. Okay, so it's lined up on this side, right? look at like it literally hangs off my finger look at that size is that not absolutely insane like if you have oops if you haven't been able to find nails that fit you sis let me know and i will send you some of these that i have because these will fit five out of five the packaging came in like the same one as the bella Vina. so like i said it doesn't bother me i'm not gonna dock it for that the pricing, they were like $3.99. It came about in it came in about two weeks. Um, they're soft gel, so they're not gonna pop off on your poly gel. 
but the sizing is just like so impressive. So these are the soft, these are the square. And then I also have AliExpress um, coffin ones. And let me show you guys that in a size zero really quick. Okay, so here are the coffin. Let me show you them compared to the McCart Femi Beauty ones. The McCart ones are a little bit more tapered, but these AliExpress ones are bigger. Can you guys tell? If you can't on camera, you definitely can in picture. I mean, in, what am I saying in person? So let me show you how much this one hangs off. So quite a bit, not as much as these square ones and not as much as the Enel Couture tapered ones, but they come super close in. Like, so these square ones are number one, Enel Couture is number two, and then these ones and the SXC cosmetic ones were in a tie. But these ones were like $2.99, $3.99, you know? So definitely can't lose with these. Soft gel, girl, these are so beautiful. For $3, hi. I mean, I'm all in. But just again, what? How, like, how big are these, you guys? So cool. And then I have one, one more, I think. I think I have one more by, um, let me see. Okay, so I have the Enel Couture. Uh, I don't know, do I keep calling these the wrong ones? I have like, not the long, so Enel Couture has the 10 XL out right now. And then I have the size under that. So I have the size under that. And then I also got the AliExpress 3X nails. And I'm just gonna show you guys, they're literally the same. Enel Couture on the left and AliExpress on the right. Like what? Hi, hi twin. So these are both soft gel nails. Um, and these are size zero. So these like are really, really comparable. I wonder if it's just because that they're square that um, I'll show you guys the difference. One of them is pre-etched. So the these ones are quite a bit longer, you know, but on AliExpress, they call them 3X. So I'll link that of course, but I think because they're square um, and the way that they're shaped that the cuticles just aren't the biggest. But this is a zero and it hangs off like that. Can you guys see how much, you know? So, I mean, enough, but if you have regular nail beds or you have, if, I mean, if you have really big ones, these might not fit. I don't hate the packaging. This is the, you know, I mean, this is the AliExpress one. It came in these little things, you know? So I, I like that. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it. I'm not gonna dock it. Um, I will say that I'm kind of sad that the things aren't a little bit bigger. Like I just expect, I mean, no, actually I'm not. I would expect this. I expect this like a zero to be like this big. Now, when they're this big, I'm super happy because now I know my girls with bigger nails are definitely gonna be able to find a size that's right for them. But now let's just look at them all and talk about it really quick. I know this is a long video. Okay, so here they all are. So this is the Enon Couture square. This is the Enon Couture tapered stiletto. And yeah, Enon Couture tapered coffin. The model ones, um, the Bella Vina. This one is the SXC, is it? Yeah. This one is the um, XXL X SXC, SXC Cosmetics Coffin, XXL SXC Cosmetics Stiletto that came out of the Lazy Girl. This is the McCart XXL Coffin that came in the Femi Beauty Collection. This is the McCart Pump Up Stiletto. This is the Kiara Sky Jelly Tips in Double Zero and Kiara Sky Jelly Tips in Regular Zero. This is the AliExpress um, Square Gel Nail. This is the AliExpress Coffin Gel Nail. 
This is the uh, uh, AliExpress 3X Soft X. <laughs> this is the AliExpress 3XL Soft Gel Full Cover Nail. And this is the Enoch Couture 123 Go Soft Gel Extreme or like extra, extra extreme. Wait, let me see. Gosh, you guys, why don't I know the freaking name? Okay, so these are extreme square. So these must be the 5XL. That's what it is. 5XL is the Enoch Couture. So my opinion is the worst one was the model ones plastic one that was the worst one sis so just don't waste your money on that the biggest nail tip i have are the aliexpress square soft gel and then next it's going to have to be this Enel couture tapered coffin let me show you guys just the difference really quick again so this is the um so, oh, hi this is the soft gel just regular square this is the biggest one i have and then here is the tapered coffin enel couture so they're super super close you guys super close but if i had to pick which one was my favorite what is my favorite let's okay i just i'm a little biased I'm a little biased, Enoch Couture. I just love them so much, but AliExpress is tied. Is it? Gosh, no, no, no. I'm gonna. I, I'm lying. Enoch Couture is first because, first of all, I like to support businesses like Enoch Couture, AliExpress. Who? I mean, who's get? Who's? Who's? I don't even know who I'm supporting, and you know, um, I like the price of AliExpress, especially because sis is a mom and i don't got you know, that kind of you know like a tour money that max wants me to have so you know what i mean but like i feel like some of his stuff you just can't find on aliexpress like you, you just can't those 10 xl sis you can't find those on aliexpress the tapered coffin can't find them there's dupes but you can't find them um so i'm going to have to say you know because of I mean, it's just really good quality, first of all. I'm so, so impressed by, especially these two, by the thumb sizes. Um, the square, now we know, the square, just regular, like the, the square in general doesn't have the best cuticle size. So if you have big nail beds, be careful of the straight square because they're probably, like, you might have, you might have an issue. Um, between soft gel and plastic, there, I really couldn't tell a difference in the quality um i mean one could say the soft gel is a little bit stronger because it's made with gel okay fine go ahead but honestly if something's going to cost more because it's soft gel versus plastic just don't it's it's fine it's it's still the same unless the model one says you then just throw in the garbage um the sxc cosmetics was really nice they were a little bit foggy but if I had to pick between SXC Cosmetics and these McCart ones, I would probably pick the McCart ones, girl. Especially those Femi Beauty ones. I mean, you know what I mean? So this is, here's how it's going to go. Enel Couture wins, um, but AliExpress comes in literally head to head. Like Enel Couture is right here and then AliExpress is like right there. Okay. So let's just get that out of the way. And then um, McCart comes next, and then SXC comes, and then what else did I try? Oh yeah, Kiara Sky, cool, like it's cute, but like I'm not gonna waste thirty dollars on nail tip. I mean, I would for you know Couture, but I don't know about those. I mean, you know, like okay, cool, okay, cool, not not thirty dollars cool though. But like that's thirty dollars cool. Oh, I, should, I guess it's. Uh, I'm just rambling now. The worst was Model Ones, AliExpress and Enel Couture are tied. McCart comes in second. SXC Cosmetics comes in third, and the other ones, like I probably won't remember you guys again to be honest. <laughs> the biggest nail tips were the AliExpress ones. The square second came in with the um. Enel Couture tapered and then the Enel Couture tapered stiletto and the SXC stiletto were tied. 
So yeah. So if you have big nail beds, definitely I would recommend getting these if you like it, if you like this style. Otherwise, otherwise the Enel Couture ones are gonna be work for you. If you don't like the shorties, Enel Couture has the biggest. Sorry, it just does. And then SXC Cosmetics is next. So the SXC Cosmetics and the, um, which other ones? I don't know. I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to help. I know that nail tips are like super stressful, especially when you're just like, what to buy? But I hope I was able to help at least some of you guys. If not one person, then this video was worth it. Um, I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions because I'll totally help you guys. I know in my head I made sense, but I'm not sure if I made sense in this. <laughs> if you stuck around to the end of this video, please in the comments, will you post, um, what kind of emoji should we post? Will you post a penguin and let, that will let me know that you watched till the end. And if you did, you're a slew, you're you're a true slayer <laughs> anyway i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye